Good morning, it is minus seven degrees. I am journeying up north today. We are going to Creef. No, I'm not going to the Hydro. I am going to a company called Image on Glass. This is where they print onto glass directly. We're going there so that we can see how our bottles are gonna look. So we're finally putting our branding onto some bottles. So pretty excited about this. This is an art form and it's not as straightforward as press print and out comes your bottle. We're going to have to make tweaks and changes as we see a bottle come off we're then gonna have to adapt the artwork what we're telling the machine to do so that it tweaks things so that the colors are spot-on so the positioning on the bottle is spot-on so there is a real art form to this we're expecting to have to print anything up to about two dozen individual bottles today so I'm carrying them with me in the car hopefully by the end of the day we will have a product in my hand that I will be excited to say this is it this is what our liquid will be going into so another big moment in the step of launching a distillery right now my fingers have just gone completely numb so adieu for me i'm gonna get back on the road and we're gonna get printing some bottles i wasn't kidding when i said it was minus seven minus ten it's, it's actually uh, got colder as i've headed further north look how beautiful it is around here i mean i'm at a, I'm at a service station but look how beautiful the hills are and the and the trees just stunning just had a ridiculous moment went into starbucks to uh, go get a coffee and she said what's your name and of course me i uh, have a scottish name so i pointed that out i said my name's lewis which is a scottish name and she just <laughs> She just stared at me. I think I compounded the issue by then ordering a decaf oat milk flat white with a pan au chocolat. It didn't go down very well. It did. Oh my word. This conveyor belt taking the bottles through the kiln is the slowest conveyor belt known to man. It takes four and a half hours to send a bottle from this side to the other end and that's how they get a very clean finish. 600 degrees in there, wow. In order to get a good bond and a good adhesion to the glass, we need to pre-treat the bottles because there's no kiln firing for any of this stuff. It's all cured by ultraviolet light. Generally, that runs about eight hours a day and that will run 24 hours a day. You can pre-treat them a lot faster than you can print them. See one of our first ever bottles being printed. Very exciting. It's the new toy. I'm still in the process of setting up, but this is a... Oh my word. So we've been printing a few bottles and it is really, really exciting. The first one we did is so far removed from what we're after. They've cleaned up the machine, it's much more clear much more accurate with the way the ink is being applied now. I love the scale of it now, it's much more in line with what we're after. Some of the colours are coming out perfectly and other colours not quite got the right tone or luminescence to them. It's to do with the way the computer is printing colours and the way that it's throwing colour onto the bottle. So we're on about print run number five now. Yeah, we're going to keep printing, we'll keep making the changes. It's about the overall tone of the bottle as well, because at the moment it feels just a touch heavier than I'm asking. After. I want something that feels like it's going to represent the vibrancy of flavour that's going to go into it. What's funny about this as well is the fact that as I'm recording and I realise even the colours I'm seeing here will be different to what this camera is picking up and showing you. This pink up here is to my eye quite light, whereas this one up here is richer, it's got a heavier red to it. This green's not quite working either. The difference between these two bottles here, this one's been printed on vinyl, this one's the vinyl one. It's much lighter, more vibrant colours and this one is the machine that we are using trying to get it to match some of those colors both are different to the digital version that we're looking at as well more vinyl printing here and you can see that this one is gloss whereas the one on the bottle that I just showed you was matte this one shows you how we can isolate where the gloss goes so the word spice drop is in gloss and the rest of it is matte which is pretty neat and then of course you've got the third option which is the water slide process which we could do if we don't feel like we can get there but I'm pretty pleased actually really pleased with what we're looking at first glimpse 
What a day. So in Image on Glass today, we have tested physical labels. Uh, we've done gloss, we've done matte, we've done vinyl. We've even printed it on metallic paper. We've done all sorts of tweaks to colors and we have finally got there. I've got, I don't know how many dud versions in the boot that were steps in the right direction. And finally we got to our finished product. Spice Drop is going to be, oh, spiced rum that we launch with. Here we go, sneak preview. This may not make much sense to you right now. Trust me, when you learn more about what we're doing and the flavors inside, you'll understand that this is absolutely spot on for what we're after. It's supposed to be playful, it's joyful, it's vibrant, and the colors are representing flavor as well. Yeah, our first drop from the Dropworks Distillery will be Spice Drop. And how cool does this look? The actual bottle shape is one we're gonna launch with whilst we're waiting for the shape bottle to become available that we're after. So we'll have a couple of months in this bottle, in this glass shape, and then we're gonna transition to something that I think is more elegant and more fitting for Spice Drop. So thank you to Image on Glass. Thank you to, to James and Piers. James, the head designer. Piers, our account manager at Contagious. They've done phenomenal work for us. They're the ones that have done all the designs and pulled it all together. Yeah, very, very excited to produce the liquid now and put it in this stunning bottle. Yeah, I think we've done good work here so that the quality of what we're doing is going to be represented visually for what we've got inside the bottle. Right, so that's it from me today. Next time, I'm going to give you a proper look inside the distillery, show you the progress that's being done, give you a better look at some of the equipment we've ordered. First glimpse at some of that. I've already unwrapped a little bit. I'm very, very pleased. And there is some detail that I want to show you. Detail that demonstrates very clearly the quality of the equipment that we've ordered. I'm very, very excited about that. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And I will see you soon. Cheers. Bye bye.